Today let's talk coolers. There are a lot of details involved with coolers that people don't normally think about. And we came into All Tackle in Annapolis and started checking out some different coolers today to see just exactly what those differences are. Well first off, let's look at your standard little igloo here. This is you know your $30 cooler, $40 cooler. It's very thin, obviously it's very light. It depends on the strap to hold its hinges up. Now let's look at the next step up. That would be a cooler like this Coleman. This is a, a slightly bigger, slightly thicker cooler, but still you have uh, rel relatively minor hinges on a cooler like this. And then you get to something like a Yeti. Now, here's the big difference. This thing costs an arm and a leg, right? This is a $300 cooler, but it is much, much thicker than the others. You can really see how that insulation is just tremendous in comparison. It's got a gasket along the top. That certainly helps keep the cold in. And what I really want you to look at is how this hinge is actually built into the back of the cooler. This is gonna last for a really long time, especially when compared to your other coolers here that we just took a look at. But it costs you $300. Now, one thing that you do need to know, if you have a cooler, like this little igloo, what you're likely to discover is that these hinges, which are very thin, is where you're going to have problems. That will break. When you have the cooler with the cheapo hinges, you can replace them. You can uh, take this thin, flimsy plastic part that really is only going to last you a couple of seasons, maybe even less, and replace it with a product like these Cooler Shield. This, uh, this kind of replacement hinge is much thicker. It allows the top of the cooler to rest open, right like that. The hinges rest on themselves. And one of the reasons why these last a lot longer than your standard issue hinges that come on these coolers is because the pin inside of them is metal, not plastic. That's actually a stainless steel pin right there. Another thing you might want to look for in a cooler is, say, wheels. They can be really convenient, but they also eat into the interior volume of the cooler, just like the thicker insulation does. Uh, handles are another important thing to look at. How long will they last? How well are they built? How sturdy are they? And of course drains. Some coolers have them, some coolers don't. When you're choosing which cooler to buy, of course, you know, some of us are going to spend the 300 bucks on this cooler. Some of us are only going to want to spend the 30 bucks or the 50 bucks for these other coolers. But you got to take all these different details into consideration when you're making your decision as to which cooler to buy. There's a right cooler for everyone out there, right?